Coming up on this episode of South Coast Spotlight, find out how one Santa Barbara-based nonprofit uses art to educate youth on addiction, get your volley on at West Beach for some AVP highlights, and discover 5,000 years of authentic Chinese culture. All that and more, right now on South Coast Spotlight. Welcome to South Coast Spotlight, where we take you around the South Coast to explore what brings our community to life. I'm Dominique Samario with TVSB. In our first segment, join us as we see TV Santa Barbara's current gallery exhibit, which features local nonprofit Safe Launch, whose mission is to educate youth on the dangers of addiction through the power of art. Portraits of Addiction and Hope is a teen art show. The photographs and the art that are here in the gallery are showing what the lives of the people were like from, that are going through recovery themselves. So these were people in recovery at the Santa Barbara Rescue Mission, men's and women's recovery centers, and they sat for photographs and talked with the teens, and then the photographs went to other teen artists who wanted to interpret the photographs and all of that's what you see here. I thought this was gonna be kind of adult more artists, but they're all teens and it's interesting seeing their stories. It's a pleasant surprise to learn that uh, young people did this extraordinary exhibit. The subject matter that they covered uh, of recovery and the journey of recovery is very real and a major issue in our community. And we need to not only understand it, but promote it and do what we can to promote recovery by those individuals who face addiction in our communities. I mean, I think when you get young people and artists talking about a very personal and important issue such as addiction, I feel like the synergy, you know, is going to take off and then it creates more than what you start with. So it's more than the individual pieces. So it creates really an amazing um, gestalt, if you will. I think teens are unreal and unbelievable and over the top if we'll just support them and help them to get going. Teens see adults differently than adults see adults. We have a different point of view, and I think it's important to share that point of view with the rest of the community. When I look at the photograph, I can, I'm looking at the person's eyes, and I, can, I make a connection with the photograph because of the eyes, and I can relate with that person, and I can see their, their story through a photograph. I like the art because it, it talks about people and, and addiction. The main thing is it's an impact on people. You know, it's, it's not about anything else except just what drugs do to people, to their relationships. I like these two here a lot. This is a photo of somebody, um, and you know, you just see the exterior, but the art tries to go inside and really talk about that there's something talking to that person. There's something going on inside of that person. And I think they're trying to depict the addiction here as something that talks to you on the inside and influences you uh, kind of against your better judgment. You know, this is reality. This is people who've been there and talking about their reality. Ninety percent of addiction starts around the age of 13, 14. If you really think you want to experiment with drugs or alcohol, that's fine, but wait as long as you possibly can. Wait until your brain is fully developed, wait until those neural pathways are fully developed and you can have a chance at a good life. We believe that art can speak to people in a way that words sometimes fail. So what is important is getting the word out that addiction strikes people in their youth. Hi, I'm Dominique Blocker with TVSB. 
Well, there are plenty of perks to living in Santa Barbara, and one of them is the Association of Volleyball Professionals Championships, held right here at our very own West Beach. Better known as AVP, the tournament packs in plenty of sand, sun, and lots of action. Santa Barbara has such a rich tradition of volleyball history, from the famous Karch Karai, uh, who practiced out here with his dad on East Beach, uh, to the hometown favorites, Todd Rogers and Phil Dahlhauser. And over 53 Pro Beach events have been held here at uh, West Beach and East Beach in Santa Barbara over the years. So it's the natural place to come back and have what we call the Super Bowl of beach volleyball. Beach volleyball is a great lifestyle sport. We come to great places around the world, um, Santa Barbara being one of the most beautiful. There's an awesome venue out here, great crowd, um, very knowledgeable beach volleyball crowd. A championship tournament is uh, it's exciting. It's, it's what we train for. You know, there's a nice trophy on the line and a nice paycheck for the winner. Uh, you know, and you try to win as many matches as you can and put yourself in the best situation to be in contention for that. This is a fabulous thing because I think that we're all in this together. There is only one ocean. Our sort of mission statement is preservation of the world's beaches, coast, and surf for all people through conservation, activism, research, and education. It's all connected. Come over, it's a free event, wonderful weather, um, and check out some Olympians. One of the many freedoms of America is the freedom of our arts. In this next segment, we take a look at how a talented group from China strives to keep their lasting cultural art alive for all the world to enjoy. For centuries, Chinese art and culture has captured the attention of the world. You used to have to travel to China to experience it. But now, thanks to a special group whose mission is to preserve authentic Chinese culture, it's easier than ever to observe these wonders from a variety of countries. Shen Yun is a Chinese dance and music performance currently touring around the world and is coming to Santa Barbara in March. So the name Shen Yun actually means the beauty of the divine beings dancing. It's really a celebration of 5,000 years of authentic traditional Chinese culture at the core of the performance is classical Chinese dance, which is accompanied by a live orchestra that combines both classical Chinese and Western instruments. However, audience members don't need to speak the language to understand or enjoy a Shen Yun performance. Most times you don't even need any explanation because the performances and the backdrops speak for themselves, like a 3D animated interactive Chinese brush painting, so you would see, you know, deities coming down, flying down from the heavens and reappear on the stage dancing for you. It can illustrate anything from China's 5,000 years of history. The Chinese Communist Party is officially atheist and does not support religious expression. Founded on the beliefs of Falun Dafa, Shen Yun faces many political obstacles. The Cultural Revolution started in 1966, aiming to eradicate the traditional Chinese culture by closing schools, burning books and arts and temples. As a result of that, the traditional Chinese culture is lost. Luckily, Shen Yun is bringing back the essence of the traditional Chinese culture by not only incorporating the artistry side of the culture into their performances, but also reviving the thought, the morality, and the spirituality that had shaped China, that had made China, China. Classical Chinese dance has three main components. Form, that's dance combination, 
and bearing, that's a special technique for expressing special inner feelings through form and techniques. So instead of using straight lines like the ballet dancer, the classical Chinese dancers move in circles, which stem from Taoism, where circles denote harmony, like the icon yin and yang. In addition to the harmony within its dance form, great attention is paid to its color design and wardrobe. Shenyun colors are part of its trademark. It's very bright and vibrant, but at the same time, it's very uh, balanced and soothing to the eyes. A lot of designers are drawn to Shenyun because of its colors. Costumes are well researched and genuinely reflect China's history. There are 400 sets of originally designed and handmade costumes for each Shenyun show. In the entertainment industry, profit is usually the prime objective. But Shen Yun places its focus on keeping the traditions of China alive and operates as a non-profit organization. The sole reason for Shen Yun to be existing is that they want to revive the essence, the true, authentic, traditional Chinese culture, because you just don't see it today. This New York traveler, he said, when I visit China, I see China with my eyes, but by watching Shen Yun, I experience China with my soul. If you miss Shen Yun, you will miss an opportunity to see a 5,000-year-old China. And residents on the South Coast have the opportunity to experience 5,000 years of authentic Chinese art right here at Santa Barbara's Granada Theater this spring. Up next, get a sneak peek at the impact TVSB has on our community as some of our members share their stories and journeys. I think TVSB is just a great place. All the programming I've seen is just great. TVSB yeah. is just wonderful. What uh, are, is possible with uh, community media, what is not being covered by the mainstream commercial media, and there are all these wonderful stories out there that need to be told, and this is the perfect way, really, to make many of these stories uh, a reality. One and of the programs that we run is called Santa Barbara Teen News Network, and that's why we're here today at TVSB, and we're excited to be here because they do a fabulous job helping us produce a fabulous show. My husband, Stan Roden, and I are going to be teaching a class on how to make a documentary film. Mm -hmm. And we've teamed up with TVSB mm -hmm. to do our production. They needed a show about money mm -hmm. on TV, financial show. And I said, well, you found the right guy. Right. So we talked and eventually came up with a show called Make Your Money. I encourage people to learn how to use a video camera and edit video. It's not hard and it's so much fun and you've created something special. Be sure to continue to join us for South Coast Spotlight as we take a look at the arts, culture, and community that impact the South Coast. If you have an idea for a future segment, email us at info at tvsb.tv. Until next time, get out and enjoy your South Coast.